Never mind, I saw. Here's where slaves used to sit on the porch and play their banjos. Uh, this is the slave quarters. They've been rebuilt pretty much. Here's the fireplace in the slave quarters. This is the back of the plantation house. Right there was a slave kitchen tore down. Now the person who owns it has built another kitchen on there. But a growing cotton in Louisiana. And he had in his lifetime six foot Rodney, Mississippi, which is about 40 miles north of here. And his wife, Julia, was born in Natchez. They married in 1840 and in 1850 for $12,000 bought this property for her as a surprise. He was already pretty rich at that time. It's the easiest way to get rich, but they, uh, as I said, they were both wealthy and they were both well educated. Uh, Dr. Nutt had his, his medical degree, he also had a degree in science, and he used his scientific knowledge to grow his crops in a better way and to improve the crops themselves. He did a lot of experimenting, combining strains of cotton, for instance, to get come out with a better strain. He was a union man. He did not want to sound like a birthing bed or an accouche bomb. And no, no two of the fireplaces were going to be alive to his family. A million and a half dollars worth of his cotton so that it wouldn't fall into union hands. And then in 1863, some of the Union Army troops moved onto his plantation winter quarters in Louisiana. And they needed supplies, they needed food, and he wasn't there with the, with the protection papers. At the time, he was somewhere else. So they just ran rampant. They, they destroyed everything except the house itself, which was called translucent glass. And at the, when we go upstairs, if you look on that wall, you'll see a recessed portion in the wall where a dumb waiter would have been installed. And the plan was for the kitchen, uh, the food to be brought in from the kitchen, which was a separate building, placed in the dumb waiter here and sent upstairs to the dining room quickly. Um, as I said before, there are going to be 26 fireplaces throughout the house. This is one of the eight that actually got installed. And this, interestingly enough, came from the old Longwood. This is ox blood marble, and it just refers to the color. This is my favorite fireplace. It's very richly carved, very solid. 